Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa staring at a VDC track and the back end of a Nissan that may not look familiar to you. Here for another driver spotlight here on the channel. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that's found in the description box below. When I say a Nissan that may not be familiar to you all, that is because it is the 400Z concept from Derpy. It's his Global Drift Series car. So big thank you to Derpy for letting me get my hands on the 400Z that he's built for the Global Drift Series. Now the 400Z is obviously a concept car. It is not, you know released to the public yet i know chris forsberg has had one in his shop and a few other people but it is not a car that is in a set of corsa so getting a chance to get behind the wheel of this car and this model that i've seen being built from the beginning is definitely awesome to have it and you know he derpy did a great job with this model and everything that the livery is you know i appreciate the livery i'm a banana i mean there's always a banana suit at a drift event it's kind of a thing so this car is very well done it looks amazing can't wait to get it on the track so we're going to be doing that make sure you guys follow his instagram all that you found in the description box below as well and uh i just can't wait to send this 400z because this is a car that nobody really has so a big thank you to him for letting me get a chance to get behind the wheel of this very one-off car and uh, we're gonna see what we can do with it. So uh, let's go. So we're gonna get the wheel cam turned on for today's episode. We gotta make sure that we have everything all set. We got our lights and everything going on. I have a little uh, sip of a beverage before we go full send on this car. So like I said, this is a very one-off car. There's no other 400Zs in the game as of right now that I know of. So this is definitely a very private mod and a very exclusive mod. So a big thank you to Derby for giving me the access to this. Because, uh, well, I've been waiting to see this car in this game for a while. And I've been seeing him when he was building it. And I've caught screenshots of it being built and things of that nature. So big thank you to him once again. So we're going to go full send here. Not in the chase position. So I'm already, already starting off bad. We're trying to go into chase position to an invisible lead car. But... Let's see what we can do. First run in the 400Z Global Drift Series car. Bang in fifth, it looks like. Quick initiation. Oh, a little, little shallow there. Gonna have to float that. Not exactly how I want it to run. Quick flick, not all the way out there. Kinda straighten that up. But for a first run out, we gotta get used to the car, of course. Brand new car, brand new physics to myself. Yep, all right. I think uh, I think I figured out we gotta stay in the power band and use the weight on this car. So we're gonna go do that on the second lap. And of course, you know, we're gonna go to Irwindale to finish this episode off. We always go to Irwindale on these spotlights because that's where I love to drive these cars. So let's heat these uh, rear boys up. So I see a camera in the, in the inside, so we're gonna Take a look. Yep, so it's got two rear view cameras. That is pretty sweet because it does have the rear mount radiator and everything in there. Dash looking pretty sweet. I like that. So very, very fluent in there. The one thing I do notice is the uh, the shifting animation on his hand kind of puts his hand out there a little bit. But that's, you know, not even, that's just a deleting of some sort of code. But second run, full send. Fifth gear, full send. Quick initiation. We got some clutch kicked out to run that out to the wall. Kind of onto that clip. There we go. Really hard there. More angle than I wanted to throw. But we managed to get a full pull on this run, though. Oh, as I say that, we loop it on the final turn. This car is definitely very snappy. It's a very short wheelbase. So it may take me a run or two to get this car dialed. But. As for aesthetics of this car, this car looks amazing, and like I said, I can't, you know, thank Derby enough for letting me get behind the wheel of this car and, you know, trusting me with his, uh, his baby right here because, you know, I've been known to hit a wall or two a few times. Oh, that was kind of a 
lax entry, but we're gonna wall tap that a little bit. Yeah, this car, once you snap it, there is kind of no, no catching it. So I gotta be very gentle on my transitions. It's a, you know, doing these driver spotlights, being able to drive different cars is definitely improving my skill as a driver when it comes to learning all these different styles of cars. I gotta get a good solid run with this car because you know, I feel like I'm not doing this car justice. So let's uh, see if we can't do it this one. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna try and finish this run out. See, if we're gentle on transitions, the car actually likes it. See, that's where I want to be. So gentle on the transition. Yep, okay. So we got to be gentle. We can't chuck it like I've been throwing a lot of other cars. So that's something characteristic of this car. It could be because it's a short wheelbase. Or maybe just their driving style likes very snappy, quick cars. So it's, you know, very different than my style of driving, which is, you know perfectly okay because everybody has their own style of driving but let's see if we can't get a full pull without smacking into a wall before we head to Irwindale. Car breaks so much traction right off the rip. Alright we'll clutch kick that. Gentle around the transition there we go. Okay that's a little better. Not the cleanest run, probably nowhere up there in a high qualifying run, but we managed to not wreck the car. So we're going to take the car to Irwindale, finish it off where we always finish it off. So let's head over to Irwindale and see what this car can do on the bank because uh, I feel like it's got enough power for sure. So we already know that this car is going to have a huge snap. So definitely need to make sure we note that when we're going in to the transition on the inner bank because we don't want to totally snap the car sideways and go 90 degrees on that inner clip so we're taking a mental note of that and then we're going to for sure not over angle the car i say that now we're going to go in the first turn we're going to over angle it so irwindale 400z first drives and impressions this car is amazing looking Definitely super excited to get my hands on it. Oh, kind of a failed initiation, but we'll continue the run anyways. And this is where I need to ease off throttle so I don't completely snap myself. All right, I can be a little more aggressive than that. So I can't do super high angle. I feel like if I go too much angle, the cart wants to start to rotate on me. So we gotta be mindful of our angle and actually do the angle we need to to do the track, not just trying to blow out 90 degrees worth of angle. So. I love how this car sounds, too. The car is so loud, so rowdy, and it's definitely a fun car. So big thank you once again to Derby for allowing me to get my hands on this car. Right there is that angle I was telling you about. So I need to figure out how to keep the car from rotating too fast for me, which maybe is just my driving style or things that I need to correct on the cars, you know, set up for me. So once again, these cars, driving all these other drivers' cars is definitely a huge thing for me, learning how their styles is. Cause I feel like now that I know how this car reacts one or two more laps in this car i should be able to throw myself down a very solid run like that that's it's pretty solid it's a pretty solid bank quick transition almost over angled that we'll kind of run a midline on there off the bank so not a bad run for you know this car being such a short wheelbase it's very different and it's also extremely fast it's pretty light it's pretty small and it's uh 
Definitely a fun car to drive, and I'm having a blast with it. Gonna get some more seat time in the car maybe, and be able to run some solid lines. I feel like my personal driving style is uh, not up to par with this car right now because this car is overdriving me at the moment. Oh, sorry Derpy, kind of just uh, wall tapped your car into the bank. This car is very beautiful, I love the way it looks, definitely a one-off car like I said. There is no other 400Zs in the game, so it's definitely a cool car to see out here on track and get my hands on it. You know my love of Z chassis, so this is another installment of Z chassis that I have access to, which is definitely a great time. We're going to try and run a midline here so we don't smack the wall, so we can get a full pull. Let's run midlines here at Irwindale, safety line. I would run a first qualifying run, just to get some points on the board. And then a little bit of a safety run, and we were managed to get a full pull. So once again, a big thank you to Derpy to let me get my hands on it. Make sure you guys follow his Instagram, all the found in the description box below, as well as make sure you follow me on all social media, all of also which is found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Oh, we just coned it. Man, I'm never going to be allowed to drive this car again. <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys for coming back. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.